I just want to quickly preface this by saying please ignore my skin at the moment. Um, I had, I think, an allergic reaction to the alcohol I had on Grand Final Weekend and my skin's messed up. Damn, this is like an ad for the L'Oreal Infallible right now. That covered it very, very well. Okay, now I'm ready to start. Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I have a bit of, I have a, a haul for you of Navigation today. They recently did Seamless September. Um, if you don't know, Navigation is a gymwear brand who they work in like releases, like they close their website off and then reopen it at certain points of the year. Um, I guess it's just a marketing strategy to, you know, make people want to buy it when it's open and stuff. Like, it works really well because they're very successful. Um, I wanted to try them for a while. I did get a couple things in their last drop. I got two pairs of their contour seamers, which are their, like, most popular leggings. And I was pretty happy with them, so I decided to buy some more in different colors and some shorts and sports bras this time. So I thought I would try them on camera and tell you guys what I think about them. Um... I have tried on one pair already, which I will insert the clip in soon. I tried on these Maui shorts and then I realized... I tried them on on camera and then I realized I didn't make... I should do an intro. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to show you each product and then try it on and we'll give our impression... Um, our impression... Should we do each product and try on or should I show them all? I don't know. Let's... I'll show you all of them and then we'll try them on one by one and then we'll talk about what we think and stuff. Um... So, I'll show you everything I got. First thing I got was, these are the Maui Pro Shorts. I really wanted to get them. They're coming off a weird color on camera. Um, In, like, daylight, they're that type of pink where in daylight it looks different. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that. There's certain, like, clothing where the color in natural lighting and in unnatural lighting looks really different. These are like that. I think in natural they're a lot more bright pink. But these are the Maui... Does it say? I thought these were the Maui Pro Shorts, but they... I think that's what they're called. Um, yeah, I just tried them on before, so I'll enter the clip now. So these are how the pink ones fit, first impressions. Um, I'm wearing the, the Muscle Nation underwear, which I love. I need to go and buy some more pairs of them to kind of stop me from getting any sort of camel toe. The one thing I do have is like sort of the intense V. Otherwise, I feel like it's pretty fluttering, but they're not super high-waisted, which nothing on me ever is like, because I have like a long torso. Oh, they're wedgie kind of nice. Ignore my bed in the background. I wish I had like a clear background. Obviously, I'm pretty happy with them. They're nice. We didn't even test if they were squat proof. We're going to have to do that now. Okay. Um, I don't know. To me, they look squat proof. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to show everything that I got really quick. So I also got, I think these are called the pro, I don't know. These are the scrunch shorts. They're in like a lavender sort of purple. I don't have any purple shorts. So I wanted to get some and plus try out the scrunch shorts. So this is going to be really interesting to see. They do look a little bit longer. I also got them in a medium. It's weird that the medium, like these are a medium. Well, and so are these. These are like low-key stretched out now because like every time I put something on, it stretches out. I don't know, like they do look a lot tinier, but yeah, we'll try those out. I love a bit of pink and purple. Let's put them behind me to have like a nice background. It's my yoga mat under the bed. Ignore that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I miss having a clear forehead. I don't know what happened, guys. I just got like some... Anyways, okay. I think I only got two pairs of shorts. Yeah, then I got these leggings. I actually did two of them. These leggings, I've been wanting. These came out on the last drop and they literally sold out almost immediately. Okay, why are they a little bit dirty on the back? That's really weird. These are the Bubblegum Pink Contour Seamless. That's their, like, most famous, like, legging. I'm a bit worried they're not going to be Scott proof They have, like, little contours under the bum. And they say navigation on the back. And, yeah, these are, like, their most popular leggings, I'm pretty sure. Um, Yeah, these sold out a lot. The thing about navigation is the drops, like, the new things sell out so fast. Like, they do release the, um, I think they're, like, the mocha brown. Like, they're the new brown leggings. And I got on the website and put my order through at 12.08. And I'm pretty sure, like, they released at 12 a.m. in Australia. And my order went through at 12.08. And I looked back. And the mocha leggings were already sold out in size small. Like, that's how fast they sell out. So, I got these time, these, this time because it was the second drop. Then, I got these leggings. So, I already have, like, the, um, the fuchsia pink and this, like, indigo colored leggings. I don't have any plain colors in, in the navigation. Because the thing is, 
you can get plain color leggings anywhere. I think the good thing about navigation is they come in so many different colors. You may as well just get like the ones that stand out. Like not many brands do this many like colors. These are the Periwinkle. I, I got them because they look cute. I wanted a purple pair of leggings that also had, was, had enough vibrancy to like look nice on my skin tone because I feel like because I'm quite pale and even when I tan, I somehow manage to still look pale. Um, I need like a color that has a lot of saturation, saturation and like neon sort of like vibrancy like to make me look tan so i feel like these will work for that and lastly for the bottoms i got i wanted to try out the new scrunch ones they came out with i got these what size did i get these in no i got all the leggings in a small by the way and the shorts are in a medium i always do that because i like shorts to be a bit looser because for me i feel that shorts sometimes really are tight on my quad so they dig into them so i like to go up a size also to be able to pull them up i just always do that i don't know I don't remember what size these were. I'll put it on the screen, but they do feel really loose. They're probably a small. They feel really thick on the band. I'm assuming they're going to be squat proof and that scrunch looks intense. So I hope that that's good. It's one of those mini ones. And then for sports bras, I thought I would try. I do not need any sports bras, but I thought I'd just try out a few colors. I can never find a nice yellow sports bra. This is like a sports bra crop top, which I love. I got these in a medium. I love these kind of tops because it's like wearing a cute single day. The back's really cute. Look at that. And then I got this. I did not need to get this. I didn't realize I already have a crop top in lavender. So that was probably like stupid to buy this, but you know. And I don't know what I was thinking with this color. This also feels like a Kmart bra. So like I'm a bit annoyed about this one, but this is like a seamless bra in like a green. I mean, it's kind of cute, but yeah. Um, I don't really know what I was thinking when I bought this because like I don't even wear green. But yeah, so that's everything I bought. Um, now I'm going to try them on live and let's let's see how i feel like eh? babes no i don't do shorts that are long i just wanted to whoa god damn. that scrunch is intense okay so what i'm gonna have to do is the good old annalise trick of rolling like pulling because the thing is about the way i'm built is like my tools i've got like a, a bit of a longer torso and shorter legs so everything looks low waisted on me because of my torso but then everything looks too long on me because of my legs so anyways <laughs> um the scrunch is very good i wouldn't have, i wouldn't expect them to do a bad scrunch so i'm very i'm impressed but i'm not shocked because like like come on that looks great yeah the length is very odd i love a shorty short so i'm gonna have to do like I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something out to make these work. If I squat, I'm going to look in the mirror. They pretty much seem squat proof to me. It's on my body because of like how I'm built. It just looks weird. The one thing I will say about navigation leggings is you don't really get a camel toe, but you get whatever this is called, like a V. Um, like if you're going to stand with your feet together, like don't, because like it looks like a bloody wine cup. Like I can't even explain. What does that look like? It looks like a windmill. I, I tend to not stand with my legs together anyway <laughs> because I feel like it makes me look thicker. So like I don't really do it. Oh god. So let's have a look. You wanna like hike it up. I'm gonna suck in a little bit so like just so you know I don't actually look like that. I'm just doing it for the thing. Well it does look good because it pulls you in here and it's looser on the butt. The more you wear it, the better. Let's squat. Like not really squat proof. Like I'm looking in the mirror. Yeah, and what you want to do though, to make him like hot, you want to like rip it up, like put it up your bum. Oh, my God. These ones feel like a bit longer. Hey, first of all, the color is so cute. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up, but it is a very, very cute color. I can't tell if when I squat, I'm looking at my ass crack or not. I think that's my butt crack. No, it can't be my butt crack because I'm wearing a nude leggings. I'm so confused. Okay, they are really, really loose. Like they're, they're firm around the waist, which I like, but they're quite loose everywhere else. Like I don't feel like I'm being held in, which sometimes it's a good thing because it means that like, you know, the gains can show through, but other times it almost feels like not secure. Like, I don't know. That's what they look like. Lean with Jacqueline. They feel like I probably could have gone down a size, I almost feel like. 
I mean, they're not. Nice. It's like, is that squat proof? Like, I can't tell. I think they're squat proof. Damn, it looks thick right now. This is the, like the sports bra crop top thing. I like it. I think it's a good length. It's more of like an active singlet. This is what the back looks like. This is a bad time for me to be having back acne, so just ignore that. I love the color. It's really, really cute. I have never been more happy with a decision in my life than to get size mediums in these sports bras because I don't know why they are so tight. This one looks like it's cute, I guess. It definitely wasn't a necessary purchase. I guess it's cute. I don't know. It's nice. It's not wowing me. Like, I definitely, I don't think it was worth, I think it was like 40 bucks. Definitely don't think it was worth 40 bucks, but it's all right. Okay, that, that purple one was so hard to get off. I'm not really feeling these sports bras that much. They're just like sort of okay. Like, like all right. Like this one's comfy. Like, I feel like I'm just going to wear this as like a bra, like an everyday bra, like under a jumper. Because it's not really giving me like wow factor. Yeah. Anyways, that was the try on. So, so I'm pretty happy with everything. I think the sports bras are like a miss for next time. I probably won't buy the sports bras again. I just think you can get better ones. But with the leggings, for a flattering legging, not all of them are going to be squat proof, unfortunately. But for a flattering legging in good colors, I reckon they're a good go to. The shorts are all right as well. I probably won't repurchase anything else until they come out with like maybe like a pair of rainbow ones. I don't know. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching. And I never say this, but you know what? Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye.